and um, very loving. You know, um, I, I really like her so much. Um, I like the way that I'm, I feel around her and the way that she makes me feel right now. Um, I don't know what the future holds, but at the moment, I like the way that she is making me feel. So. Hello wonderful people, welcome once again to this channel, it's your girl Clara Evans. Consider subscribing if only you want to be seeing videos from this page. So guys, today I want to talk about the amazing things in Big Brother's house today. Remember, this season is Valentine's season, so let's come to an agreement. I call it an agreement and do the needful to our partners, show love, share love, express love by giving out to your friends, your, you know, not necessarily your lovers. You understand? Big brother instructed housemates asking them to give, asking them to give those Valentine cookies to their partner and also to their platonic friends but he later changes the instructions by saying you can give to people you love <laughs> remember guys this is season of love valentine is by the corner remember to share gift remember to you know do the need for this let me start with juicy jerry juicy jerry and Yvonne's relationship seems to be so real, so natural, so calm. Like, and this South African nigga likes it so well. He enjoyed the company of Yvonne. Like, you guys need to listen to how he expresses that, that he never thought this thing would be like this because of the eyes he uses to look at Yvonne, like classy, like so demanding, like, you know that the eye don't see it to you understand so that was the eyes the nigger used to look at Yvonne not knowing that sometimes you don't assume things things like sometimes we need to keep our mind straight when pursuing or looking for anything don't assume before you enter so let's assume he did that maybe the both parties would have gone their different ways separate ways you know so he says a lot by saying that uh, he never thought both of them would get along this way and also he does not know what the future has for two of them. Like it was so emotional. House mates were screaming, like guys, me too, I enjoyed it too. Hmm. So <laughs> you need to see your girl blushing. If I'm blushing, you worry that girl. I mean Yvonne. <laughs> To another one, my people, eh? hmm. I was waiting to see uh, who Yemi is going to give his cookies to, who Blue is going to give her own to, and also Kihosi. So, hmm. let me start with Yemi. Yemi first personally gave it to Melissa, his partner, and you guys to listen to how he spoke about Melissa. Like, he likes defending Melissa. Remember, see, Melissa is so intelligent, so very calm in nature, very natural. So he said too many things before he gave out the cake to Melissa. So we sleep in Santin together. We sleep close to each other. See, it, it felt like it was supposed to happen. It felt like it was destined to happen. And yeah. uh, she's playful, she's outspoken, and I fuck with her every. And um, I tell her every time how much I fuck with her. You know. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys. Nelisa is an important person to Yemi. Like, you guys need to listen to how Yemi describes uh, this girl. Like, if these two persons end up outside together, I will not be surprised because, ah, you guys need to see how Yemi used to defend her. Uh, Yemi is always there for her. Like, guys, <laughs> I hope uh, Kiyosi and uh, Blue will not start fighting. And this is one of the things that made Blue not to like Nelisa. Honestly, she perceived Nelisa and Yemi differently from uh, Kiyosi. <laughs> Blue is so much jealous of Nelisa than the way she is with uh, Kiyosi. <laughs> Now, wow, but you guys also need to see how Nelisa described Yemi. Hey, God, like so special, more special than that of Kihosi and Blue. You guys listen to this. So the cookie monster himself, he is the chocolate god Yemi. 
Okay. Here we go. It even has his name on it because I know you, when now you like looking at yourself in the mirror. So it's my <laughs> as well to look at yourself in a cookie. <laughs> uh, the next one is this was special presentation, honestly, and I find this so unique. And even uh, Yemi adore this gift from Nelesa, guys. Blue is a mad girl. Can you imagine? <laughs> she says Yemi is always advising her that um, he was the first person she has connection with when she first entered the house. That one, she's correct. But this kind of advice she's talking about, I don't know whether kisses advices or bed what kind of. <laughs> This girl, eh, she's so funny. So, guys, I'm going to leave you guys to listen to how she presented her own cookie uh, to Yemi. It was not that um, romantic kind of back then. It was moderate because Big Brother, no one was hala. You're always advising me, and uh, I appreciate you. And I'm very really grateful. Any day, we understand each other. Time for Blue to present her own cookie to. Yemi, Big Brother had to interrupt by calling Yemi into diary section and <laughs> she was distracted and she still paused and waited for Yemi. That was because Big Brother never wanted Wahala. Mm -hmm. He knows what would have happened, but then you understand. So let's take a look at this uh, one again. And I spelled your name with the sweet Yemi because I think he's sweet. <laughs> So this was how Kihosi presented her own cookies to Yemi. Like she was laughing on top. <laughs> what happened? What made her to? What triggered the laugh? Like, I don't understand. Maybe uh, that sweet Yemi is not from her mind based on what she has gone through in Yemi's hand. Even when she gave out the cake to Yemi, she gave it to Miracle Taban and Yemi was the last person. That means Yemi is her last option. <laughs> Kihosi is very patient, so as Blue, for them to have played this part and they still maintain peace, that means they are very kind. Not all women can tolerate this, honestly. Like, hmm. So, I like every damn thing that happened in Big Brother's house. So, also show love to whoever you want to show love to. This season is a season of love. But again, I get into rooms where conversations are being had, the minute I get in, it's close, quiet, and I feel mm. uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, I got three cupcakes. Epilin breaks down in tears. She feels isolated from other girls, and she just got only three cookies from housemates. Like, guys, whatever things you sew, you go rip them. She claims Nigerians, women, Nigerians, housemates, do not like her like let me also ask this it's not only nigerian women that are inside the household okay even though she's not close to niger girls what happened to her own tribal people like she's not close to any of them even when she gave out her cake she gave double to uh, luke the ex-boyfriend that left the house she didn't give to any of the girls so what do you expect and you're always looking Making the housemate to look like they don't want being in your country. Yes. She missed her boyfriend, Luke. Assuming the guy is still in the house, maybe. Mm -hmm. That one was her uh, confidence. But now she feels empty. Though Juicy J promised her that uh, as long as he is in the house, uh, anytime she needs his attention, let her inform him. And remember this girl and juicy j they had born before so this are uh, crying now triggered the love again no i don't know this afternoon you see j sang love for yvonne hmm. juicy j is going to have another girlfriend in the house oh, hey because as it is now ipelem does not have who to cuddle her she's just there and she's not even mingling with even boys so what are you saying mm. I hey go do a big ah it's good to feel this way sometimes we do cry secretly too so if it happens you cried yours openly it's a plus to you it's a blessing and it's a face to surely you shall pass over it so guys thank you for listening it's me Clara Edith and I'm coming back again thank you bye for now.